Hello mommies, books are the best gift that you could offer your bub and reading with your baby is the best ever quality time that you could spend with your little one. Books could do many wonders in your baby's world than you could imagine. When they touch and feel a book, it helps in their sensory developments. When they turn pages, it helps in hand-eye coordination and also in the development of their fine motor skills. By pointing to pictures, they actually communicate with us, which is the base for the language development. When we teach with fun, they hear to us and this builds their listening skills. When they fondly identify it by themselves, it hones their memory skills. When we teach new words to them, it builds their vocabulary skills. Just reading a book with a baby stimulate their senses, develop their skills, and also create an immense bonding with a reader. Don't read a book to the baby just because the baby has to learn. Reading to a baby is more than learning. First, concentrate on the fun factors in reading. Read in a babyish language. Read in an exaggerated way wherever appropriate. Change the pitch of your voice and try to read just like a baby. While you read, ask questions to a baby in a babyish language. While reading, encourage the baby, tickle the baby, play with the baby. The animal books give you more chances for this fun. As you can sound like the animal, flap or hop like the animal. And show the toys and most of the plush toys will be animals for sure. This video is about my baby's reading journey with me. I am going to show you all the books that I have introduced to her from the beginning. The very first book that I introduced to my baby Nachatra was a touch and feel book. And this book's name is Biscuits Pet and Play Easter. We just got it in Walmart. And this video was taken when she was around 6 months. Now she is 2 years and still now she loves this book so much. Just because of this book's sensory focused thingy. She just loves to touch and feel the book and scrape it to hear the sounds. Whenever I see this video, I remember a famous quote. Some books should be tasted, some devoured, but only a few should be chewed and digested thoroughly. Baby's first exploration always starts with their mouth, so no wonder if they bite the book. But just make sure they don't ingest it. Gently take it away from their mouth and try to show them the colorful pictures and make them to touch and feel it. I'm not here to recommend any specific book, but I'm just trying to recommend the types of book that I found it useful for my baby. This kind of books usually cover many textures from soft, smooth, shiny to rough, bumpy and fluffy ones. Some books even have flaps to open and close. A single book that activates multiple senses like seeing, hearing, doing and touching. These books have so much fun for the little ones to explore the world through their touch and feel. And then I introduced animal flashcards. These cards are from Leapfrog. I got this for my first kit but the scout is not working now. Still I make those animal sounds and my baby just loves it. Parallelly, I also introduced these sliding word and picture cards from Your Baby Can Read. I first chose only animal themes in this so she can relate to the flash cards as well. You shall opt for any such pull out cards. Babies love the fun to pull out and see the picture in it. Next I introduced these cute small books collections from Disney and obviously the very first book that we chose from this was an animal book. As she is already familiar with the animals through the flashcards, she loves to hold this small book on her hands, flip through the pages and look at the pictures and make sounds on her own. When she was around one year, she just knew the pictures in the number book. By her second birthday, she could actually count them. I bet by her third birthday, she could actually identify the numbers in that. So these books are for continuous learning. They learn different concepts at different stages from the same book. So I would suggest that these small board books are a good buy if you use it efficiently in their first 3 to 4 years. When they are bored, the sisters use this as building blocks in their construction. As she builds, when she finds her favorite page, she'll suddenly stop and talk about it, enjoy that page and then continue her building. Books give so much fun in many forms. Next, I introduced Letters book. 
the basic A for apple, B for ball book, but more words for each letter. Always prefer board books at least till three years as they are too young to handle paper books. I know picture books are very exciting, but to make it way more exciting, try object to picture matching. When you teach A for apple to your baby, take your baby to the fruit basket, ask her to grab an apple, come back to the book or chart, match the real apple with the apple picture. Babies will be so excited and I bet you both will have tons of fun in this learning activity. Don't grab all the required items near you and start teaching. For each word, go and get the item from where it belongs. And that's where the fun lies. Don't worry about running around the house for each word. You just train them twice, then you can just sit at one place and encourage the baby to grab the stuffs for you. The babies will happily shed their energy in this exciting fun activity. If possible, show the same object in two or more forms like a toy or another book that the baby is already learning with or any other place that you have that object in your house. <coughs> These charts are open books that frequently invite the baby to spend some time with. Hang one in each room at the places that easily catch the sight of the baby. Babies love repetitions and they don't get easily bored of it. My baby loves this chart so much. Whenever she eats an apple or an orange, she'll never forget to point the same in her chart. Whenever she sees a dog in the street, she'll run to her chart and point to the dog and bark like a dog and she points to the dog in the street as well as the dog in the chart and that's how she tries to communicate with us. She tries to prove that she has understood what she has learned. And she is very happy to convey that she has found the real thing that she has seen in her chart. These wall charts stay open-handed to grab our baby's attention throughout their day-to-day -day activities. I also introduced letters and words book of my native language, Tamil, which is my baby's mother tongue. Do not confuse a baby by introducing more than one language at a time is a total myth. My pediatrician always recommends to communicate with a baby in our mother tongue and she insists that this accelerates their cognitive development which is nothing but how the children think, explore and understand the world around them. Mother tongue is the first language that the baby hears or learns from the womb. Mother tongue builds the foundation to learn other languages. English has become an inevitable universal language so that has to be taught for the survival. But still, mother tongue lays the base in building their thinking skills, which in turn helps in molding their communication skills. As she is so fond of animals, I got her two animal books. You can go with any sound book that your baby is interested in. This music book is just like a toy to her, as it has very small pictures and just the music is the main fun. But this picture book is her all-time favorite. It has big, colorful and realistic pictures and she just loves to go through it. Good. When we go out for a walk, we see many insects, birds and small animals. Every single thing amuses them a lot. Forget about the rabbit and frog. Even a small ant amazes them as the entire world is brand new and these kind of moving things are even so fascinating from a toddler's view. After our walk, we dutifully take the animal book and spot the same animal or insect or the bird which we saw in the walk in a book. This activity glues the baby's bond more stronger with that book. It also conveys the message that books open up the real world of exploration. Learning doesn't end with a book, it just starts with a book. I personally like Your Baby Can Read Flap Books. I introduced this book when my baby was around 10 months. There are five stages in this book. As per your baby's age, interest and progress, you shall move through the levels from 1 to 5. I know this book is very expensive and this is not a paid post. My brother actually got this book. He used it for his baby and then passed on to me and I used it for both my babies. 
I personally feel that this book is so very engaging and both my kids love this book. Don't buy this book just because you could afford money. Do opt for the book only if you could afford time to read it with your baby. As I have already shown, this set also comes with these pull-out cards. Teaching the same information in various interesting forms helps them to understand the concepts very clearly. Next, I introduce this Peppa board book. I actually got this for my first kid when I was teaching time to her. Now this has become my little one's favorite. I just don't read the lines in the story as she's too young to listen to it and grab the story. I talk about the spilled food and whenever we come to this page, she says that the dad has spilled the food and that is wrong. And I just talk about the characters and make up my own story. And whenever I flip through each page, I'll encourage her to imitate the time in that page. This clock part has made the book so special. And now that she started connecting the real clock with the book, during her daily activities like her meal times, her brush time and her bedtime. She has not yet seen Peppa cartoons as I have not given her screen time till her second birthday. But still, she loves this book so much. I am sure in future when she sees Peppa cartoons in TV, she will relate to this book and enjoy it very much. This Peppa book is my baby's favourite bedtime story book. Initially, I was engaging her with this book Later, she has taken over. She herself flips through the pages and talks about the characters that she knew. She likes to identify every single object that she could relate to. Bedtime is the best time to cuddle and connect with the baby and a book gives you that opportunity. Watching a screen before bedtime delays and disturbs their sleep as it affects the body's internal clock. Rather, Reading a book relaxes their mind and opens up the world of imagination which in turn paves the way to their dreamland sooner as reading sets a good sleep time routine if practiced daily. Do set up a small library at home with baby's books and make sure that the library is low in height so that it could be easily accessed by the baby. An open bookshelf invites for more reading time. After reading a book, you shall teach the baby to put it back where it belongs to. This is a wiser way to inculcate organization and discipline. I followed the same early reading routine for my first kid as well. She is 8 now and she doesn't get her screen time during the weekdays. Book is her best buddy. I am so elated to see that reading has become her habit and book has become an integral part of her life. To enjoy the rainbow, first enjoy the rain. Let our little readers enjoy the magic of books. As they grow up, reading might open the door to writing as well. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.